to story time, okay? Which was formerly happy hour. I kind of miss both. I need to time both in together, okay? Now, if you are new to this segment, this is a segment that's all about us, okay? We do not discuss any celebrity gossip during this segment. The winos, such as yourself, get to actually write in. We select the questions, and we will answer them in our most raw and sincere way on the channel, okay? And the winos help below in the comment section. So if you actually want your question, okay, answered during this segment, please feel free to send Jasmine an email. That is J-A-S-M-I-N-E at unwindwithtashak.com and we will let you know if your question has been selected. So the first question is titled Side Chick Chronicles. Hey Tasha, I hope that you're doing good. I love your channel and your honesty. Thank you. I met a guy a year and a half ago. I'm 26, he is 43. We went out on our first date and after the date ended, he told me that he was getting divorced. Oh, okay, let me drink some water. Mm -hmm. mm. Staying sober for this. After a couple of dates, he told me the whole story. Well, he has a nine-year-old daughter and a five-year-old son with his ex. And his ex forbid him from seeing them for almost a year because she knows that his children are his life. So that was her way to hurt him, okay? This sounds pretty typical. I don't know who to believe in this situation, okay? But let me keep re reading, okay? He tried to solve this issue legally, but he lost custody and she actually put a restraining order against him because she lied and said that he used to beat her up and her friend backed her story. So it was impossible for him to come close to his children. Two months ago, their families got together and they tried to calm things down. She agreed on letting him see his children, but she told him if he wants to see them, he should come back to her, okay? The problem is he doesn't love her anymore and he can't trust her after what she has done to him. But in the same time, he can't walk away because he got the children. Him and I met two weeks ago. Ciao. <laughs> okay, okay. Him and I met two weeks ago. He told me all of these things I asked and asked me to be his lover, but we kept things on the low, meaning he wants me to be the side chick. I'm very honest about it, and I'm not fooling myself. I know that if I agree, I'll be the mistress, but I have feelings for this dude. What do you think I should do, Tasha? I... Should I be there for him or should I simply leave with a broken heart? How you got a broken heart after two weeks? You don't know this man, okay? You know the idea of what this man has presented to you, okay? You don't know if he really beat, okay, his ex-baby mama. And how does a woman testify, put a restraining order on a whole man only to ask for him to come back? Something doesn't sound right. And honestly, if you ain't got no kids, if you don't have anything invested in this, honey, I would run. I'm telling you, I would get the hell up out this chair if I was you, if he was sitting right here and I would kill Oh, damn. Y'all, you done got me mad. I done spilled my damn water and shit like that because I'm thinking I'm in this situation. I'm thinking this dude is sitting right here and I'm about to get the hell on, okay? If this glass was here, I probably would have tossed it in his face. Why do women, I don't understand this. This man has presented all of his baggage. Why are you trying to take on that baggage? Because you fell in love with the idea, okay, of a dick. The idea of a man. The idea of what love is and you don't know him, okay? Now, I always tell women, if a man got a pass, please get to know that pass. Please get to know his baby mama if you can. Please get to know his kids because they're going to tell you everything that he's about, okay? Because all that bullshit that he was putting her through, putting them cheering through, guess what? He's going to transfer that bullshit into you and it sounds like by the look of this email, he's already starting with that bullshit now. But you know what? If you want to fall in love with fake love, false love, the idea of a love, girl, so be it. I need my damn water. You know, I had me invisibly throw some water on, on a man that ain't even sitting here. Mm -mm. You guys are always begging me, asking me, Tasha, what are you using on your skin, okay? Now, I alternate between like three brands and I'm excited, okay, that one of the brands that I actually use, Tula to be exact. Tula is a doctor founded clean and effective skincare and wellness brand where 100% of the products are formulated with probiotics and superfoods. Did you hear that? Now I am all into the vegan world. Anybody that knows me personally knows I can argue a real vegan down, okay? I know what everything is. And when I actually get to use 
fruits, vegetables, probiotics, okay, lemons, sugar scrubs on my face as you see me doing right now. I'm telling you, it just makes me feel all the more organic because you know I'm a real bitch, okay? I keep it all the way real. I'm a realist. Now, Tula focuses on us being healthy and not perfect. I like that because a lot of people do expect folks to be perfect, but we're not, okay? We're just real, all right? Tula wants to remind all of us, okay, that we are all beautiful, all right? And by them creating a product that reflects the very environment that we live in, okay? Because I don't believe in no scientific formulated potions and everything going on my skin, drying it out, okay? Causing breakouts. I love using sugar, coffee, lemons, plants, and everything that I put in my body, I want it on the outside. And I am actually excited that Tula has chosen me to sponsor with. I've always used their products. Probiotics are powerful, okay? I don't think I need to go into depth on how probiotics contribute to our gut health and things like that. Probiotics actually help to balance balance and soothe our skin, okay, naturally. And I really like that it helps to boost my appearance, okay, because like I said, I like my insides to reflect my outsides. And I take a probiotic daily, and by me adding it to my skin, vitamin E, sugar scrubs, coffee scrubs. Y'all don't understand how happy that makes me, okay? I get excited drinking carrot juice every morning. I know that sounds lame, but I'm telling you, I feel great, alert, and alive, okay? And by me using Tula, it just helps to bring out that inner energy out. Tula was founded by Dr. Roshini Raj. She's a practicing mom first, okay? I like to use mom, gastronologist, entrepreneur, and probiotics expert. And what better way than to have a gastronologist who helps to restore our gut and immune health daily and she's actually created a product that works from the outside in. She had a light bulb moment when she figured out that her patients felt great on probiotics and I can attest to that. I take mine daily. All of the Tula products are of course cruelty free, never tested on animals, and they come straight from Mother Earth, okay? You ain't got no GMOs and nothing like that here. Visit Tula.com, that is T-U-L-A, Tula.com and you guys will get 15% off your first order using the code Tasha K. You know I'm gonna hook y'all up with the same products I use, okay? If I don't use them, they are not advertised on this platform, okay? Tula.com or click the link below in the description box and use my code Tasha K to get 15% off your first order. Next question, okay? I need my space, all right? Written in by a wino anonymously. Uh, please, f please, if you want to be a part of story time, okay? And if you have the guts to stomach my advice and the wino's advice, please feel free to email Jasmine, J-A-S-M-I-N-E, I don't wine with Tasha K.com, okay? Now, it goes, I have been with my current boyfriend for around five years. We met while in school and started dating on and off for the last two weeks of the last year, okay? We are official for two. Girl, all you had to do is say you've been dating him for two years. I don't know. Uh, five years, I don't know. What? What is this? Okay, it was a bit rocky, but in January, I thought we turned a new leaf. By early April, I had to give my room up to a family member that needed it due to the pandemic. So naturally, I asked to stay with him. As I was not a stranger to his house, he said he understood it wasn't a problem, Tasha. The family member ended up staying until early July, but 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 by early June, he already started to change and eventually told me that he wanted his space, okay? He expressed not space away from me, but basically for me to go home. He wants me to split my time with his house and mine. This made me feel like a burden, unwanted. Like I was wasting my time even being with him. He works a lot and I'm a nurse who is also still in school and have been doing both full time this entire time. So I was just working and studying, barely bothering him or so I thought so. I took it as if we should break up. Maybe a bit drastic, but that's how I felt. So I took my things and I left his house in July. Went back home. Now we have begun texting again and I'm unsure why I'm even entertaining it. Still haven't been back to his house. My question is, am I wrong to feel like this is a waste of my time? If he needed his space so bad while I really just couldn't just leave or go home, did I overreact? Was he, was he not insensitive? Well, um, I'm going to have to side with 
with your boyfriend on this, okay? Partly because you, this was not a mutual decision for you guys to move in and be a couple. Now, I know you guys have been together. Like you said, I've been with my current boyfriend for around five years. We met in school, started dating on and off for the last two years of the last year. We are official for two, okay? It's a lot. You guys have known each other, but you guys did not sit down as a couple and decide to move in. So basically, you just kind of bombarded on his space. And he wasn't ready. Now, I understand, like, when women, you know, start to move in, you know, they start changing shit around. You may think, oh, I'm just there going to school, working, but you playing wife, and he probably ain't ready for that, okay? And so this was something that was done on a whim, and being that, it was just something that was supposed to be done temporary. I don't think it's fair for you, okay, to make it seem as if it's his fault when you lied in the beginning about what this was going to be, okay? And so I don't think that's fair at all. I think he was well within his right to ask your ass to leave, okay? Because he only gave you a place to stay for a short time and a real man ain't gonna want you coating up in no house that y'all ain't bought together. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not about him, like, oh my God, he don't want me there. Oh my God, it must be somebody else. Oh my God, he don't love me. Some men just want to do it the right way. You understand what I'm saying? And being that y'all are not married, okay? You guys do not have a formal commitment. You guys seem like you've been having some relationship problems on and off. Let this thing grow organically, okay? A pandemic does not equate, okay? A um, a relationship contract, you being on a lease just because there's a pandemic. Honey, if you a nurse and you in school, get your own place. That way a nigga ain't got to ask you to get out. He ain't got to ask you to move. You understand what I'm saying? And men anyway like a woman that can hold their own, okay? So you over there in your own apartment and telling his ass to go home, it's going to do something to his spirit. Trust me, okay? They don't like that shit at all. So he'll probably make it official as to where both of y'all can sit down and talk about getting a place together but I don't think it's fair to literally break up with him because you, all right, lied about the intention in the beginning, okay? When you got your shit together, all right, you should have got your own space. He shouldn't have had to ask you to leave, okay? You should have said, you know what? We ain't married. It ain't serious like that, you know what I'm saying? I told him it was only gonna be for a short time because a family member took my bed. Girl, it's time to go buy your own bed, okay? How about that, all right? Now, I'm sorry I couldn't side with you. I know a lot of the female, oh my God, it's just so hard on the women, it's just so hard. Oh, I'm, I'm going to keep it 1,000, all right? 1,000, all right? So, um, yeah, you better probably work things out with him for some, somebody else decide to work things out with him that has her shit together, that has her own space, okay? And that ain't trying to play house when he ain't ready. That's not fair. That is not fair at all to him, okay? Or you, all right? Now, um, thank you so much, Winos, for trusting me with your personal, most intimate questions. Remember, we always leave you anonymous. Jasmine will give a follow-up and let you guys know that your question is answered, but if you're an avid Wino, I'm sure you're watching right now, okay? And Winos, we do need your comments below. They need your help. Maybe I missed something. I am not a therapist or anything like that, nor do I pretend to be. I just kind of give advice based off of what I would do okay all right now um thank you all so much for watching okay please do not forget to take advantage of your coupon code okay tasha k to order tula okay a wellness and skincare brand full of superfoods and probiotics on your face okay all organic all right ain't nothing like nothing organic you know I'm, I'm real strict about that even my man's sperm got to be organic okay anyway all right thank you all so much for watching all right if you like this video subscribe you can also find me on facebook Instagram. Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, at Unwind with Tasha K. If you want to market on my platform, please feel free to send me an email via marketing at Unwind with Tasha K. That is marketing at Unwind with Tasha K, and someone will respond or answers to your advertising questions. And hell, if you didn't like this video, Teddy, why are you so sad? Did I ain't read them too bad, did I, okay? And hell, if you didn't like this video, you can still subscribe anyway, just so you can cuss my ass out. Not that I would really give a damn anyway. Now, I gots to go, okay? Bye. Bye.